Hello everyone, today I will be showing you how to really quickly create a reverse reverb effect that pulls your listener right into your piece of music. You've heard this all over the place already, it's in literally every kind of genre of music and there's a really really easy and quick way of creating such an effect yourself and this will be the accessible rundown. In front of me, I've got one track, which doesn't have a name. One arm, one item. And it already got an item. And this item is simply, because it's really easy to demonstrate, a piano note. It's a C, actually. Let's play it. That's it. There's already a tiny reverb tail on the end of this thing. But it's really quiet. For reverse reverb effect, you need a much larger tail. So what I would do is... I would go to the track, one arm, one item. which already holds my complete control instance and the sample library that plays the piano, which in my case is the gentleman, but every piano works just fine, no matter if it's sampled or if you actually recorded it yourself. There are a lot of free libraries out there, so you will easily be able to follow along as well, because all the tools that we need today are basically free or already available within Reaper. Now what we need is a longer reverb tail. And for that, I will instantiate a reverb on this track. Now I will be using Seventh Heaven because that is the plugin that I really, really like most when it comes to reverbs. This plugin obviously is not free, but there are a lot of reverbs out there which are free and which will just do the same thing. So go ahead and grab the reverb that you like most. It should have a tail that is long enough for the demonstration for the effect to actually work quite well. I will just quickly instantiate a nice long reverb here. And that is it. That's my original sound that I now want to use. Now, because this is the half MIDI, half audio, we need to get some audio item out of all of that. So in order to do that, we need to apply the FX to the MIDI item and render it out as a new take. We therefore use control left and right arrow to select the media item that generates the piano note that then gets reverbed. So we will press control left and right arrow. One zero one MIDI. We would hit context menu. Context menu menu. And now we'll use down arrow a few times. Item settings, sub menu, item property, source property, group, sub menu, take, sub menu, comp, sub menu, item and take, item process, stretch marker, sub spectral edits, open items, and open and built in, apply track, slash, take, FX to items as new take. That is what we want to hit that and then we render it out. Item. Apply on save project. Here we go. And now we've got one zero one MIDI render zero zero two dot flag two takes. This is a flag, and if you want to go back to the MIDI actually, then we press T. One zero one MIDI. And we will back on the MIDI item, but we actually want the audio. Two zero one MIDI render zero zero two dot flag. And for that to actually work well, we need to disable the FX on the track now, because otherwise we would get double the reverb, which we don't want. So we will select the track. One arm, one item. And hit B. FX bypassed. And if we now play, it will still sound like we've actually rendered through the reverb, because we rendered it out as a new take. That is the full sample that we want. And we obviously want this to be preceded by the reverse pull-in, which we do by copying this item. One zero one MIDI render zero zero two dot flag two takes. One item copied. And I would just create a new track for this, track which I call reverse. R -E -V -E -R -E, two reverse. And I will paste my item here. One item added. And now this sounds like this. One zero it's just louder because it's the, the same item, but it's on a second track and playing the same sample twice will just double the volume. What we can do now is we can select the item one zero one MIDI render zero zero two dot flag two takes and press V. And what does V do? If we just press V, it will reverse the take. One take reversed. And now we play. Here we go. That is kind of like what we want, right? Because it's playing the reverse take and the original take at the same time. We obviously want them to kind of fade into each other. So what we do is we will take the original take on track one. One FX bypass down one item. We will select that one, one, and move it further along. Let's say, for example, to the end of our reverse take. So we cut it. One item removed. Go one bar ahead. Bar two. Because my item is exactly one bar long. And paste it here. One item added. 
Let's see how it sounds now. Come on. That is already kind of great. And that's really all there is to say about creating a reverse fade in effect. The steps are as follows. Create the original sound that you want to have. It can be a piano, which is really traditional, but it can literally be anything you like. Step two, apply a really long reverb tail to it, if it already has one. Step three, copy it and reverse it. If it was MIDI before, don't forget to render in between. And step four, just put them together the way you like most. That's really it. That's all there is to say about creating a reverse reverb pull in kind of like effect. I hope this shorter tutorial was useful to you. Let me know what you think in the comment section below the video. Thanks for watching and until next week, bye bye.